Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and I am out here in the outdoor garage testing studio. We are in South Florida, and it is winter, and it actually is a little cool enough that you might want to turn a, a heater on in the house to take a little edge off of stuff without starting the heat up in the whole house. So I think this is a perfect time to try this out, make sure it works. Here's how this works. I am going to unbox it, show you what it comes with, and then I'm going to review it. We'll see how it works, take a look at it, and then I'm going to come back at the end and give you a Doug score from one to five so that you know what I think of this product from crap to something that's amazing. So let's unbox it, see what it looks like. While I pull it out of here, I'll tell you a little bit about the product. It is a ceramic oscillating fan, meaning it moves up to 70 degrees so that like it just doesn't cook your feet if it's under the desk, it rotates. Um, it is up to 1500 watts of power. <laughs> That's a lot of power, that's good. That's really a lot of power in a uh, heater. It has lots of the, the safety devices and, and functions that you expect, like it's got a timer on it, it has a tip over set, reset, so like if you accidentally tip it over, or if the cat tips it over while you're not around, it's gonna turn itself off. Okay, so it has an adjustable thermostat as well. It, um, you can adjust the temperature from like lowest 75 degrees to the max, which I believe is 110 degrees. Um, this is supposed to heat about 150 square foot area. On the top here, you have options for fan, heat, hot, off, fan just oscillating, heat oscillating, and really hot oscillating if you want to like to book it up to that 1500. What do you say we plug it in and see how much heat it makes? Oh, and the other thing, when we plug it in, we need to listen and see how quiet it is. Because sometimes these things are really loud, but they say it's quiet, but we won't really know until we turn it on and see what it sounds like. All right, let's plug it in and see what kind of magic happens. Let's see. Okay, we're plugged in, let's turn it on. Let's try just the basic fan. Very quiet, let me bring it to you so you can hear what the fan sounds like. Oh wait, I forgot I'm wearing the microphone. Oh, and look, by accident I showed you how good the safety feature is. It turned off the moment I picked it up. So that's a good proof of concept that this is nice and safe, and in the meantime I'll put it back down so we can hear it. All right, let's try this again. It's right up against my microphone. I, I, I won't know till I go back. Well, I know. To me, it's not very loud. I'm not sure what it's gonna sound on the microphone, but it is very quiet. I can definitely feel the breeze coming out of it. Let's, let's turn it on to heat. One, two, three. Three seconds and it is physically hot. Like I can feel, wow, this thing is good. That is, this thing is cooking. I can't believe they, they say it's only good for 15, 150 square feet because I would think this would turn 150 square feet into an oven rapidly. Um, okay, let's stop with the heat and let's try oscillating with the fan and see what that looks like. Okay, so there should be a 70 degree rotation. Again, even the oscillation, I'll come over here so you can hear. Not making a lot of mechanical noise. It is definitely like, just like a low background noise. I, you wouldn't even notice that this was running, I don't think, unless you were like listening for it. Um, that's great. And that is all of the functions there are on this. We've oscillated it, we turned on the fan, we put on the heat, which worked instantly. I accidentally checked that the safety features work, which is good. So the only answer there is this has to be a five out of five on the Doug score for a great little fan if you have like, if you want to keep your feet warm under the desk on one of those cool mornings here in Florida.